Do you want to switch your carrier to embedded Linux device drivers but you don't know where to get started? Or you have already tried learning the embedded Linux device drivers on your own but you feel it is not sufficient to crack the interview in the current job market? If your answer is yes to any of this video then you are at the right place because here I am going to provide you the complete roadmap to the embedded Linux device drivers. Apart from this, I have shared the valuable resources at the end of the video which will help you get started and get the deeper insights into the embedded Linux device drivers. Hi, I am Pradeep Devani, trainer and consultant with over 17 years of experience in embedded systems. To know more about me and the courses which I offer, refer the description of this video. Now let's get started with the ultimate roadmap to embedded Linux device drivers. So here is the ultimate roadmap to embedded Linux device driver developer. Assuming that you are starting from scratch and you have no knowledge on Linux, I would be sharing the roadmap right from there. So as I always say, in order to get started with a Linux device driver, the first thing is you should be comfortable with the Linux fundamentals. Linux fundamentals means you should be comfortable with the Linux environment, the command line and all those kind of stuff which involves something like com being comfortable with a make file, being comfortable with a JIT, being comfortable with the editors and the Linux environment. So that's the very first step if you want to learn the Linux drivers related stuff. Next thing which I typically recommend is the Linux application development. Now you might be wondering, I want to learn about the Linux device drivers. Why should I care about the application development? But you need to understand one thing. Till you don't understand the application, you might not be able to understand the product requirement. If you don't understand the product requirement, how are you going to write the driver? So application development, the basic stuff is very, very necessary. So just to list few of the things which you want to learn, which you should learn in embedded Linux, applic uh, Linux application development is something like a system calls, the processes, the threads, synchronization mechanisms. This should be good enough to get you started with a Linux device driver. Now we come to something like a Linux driver fundamentals where we first need to cover the things like a Linux driver basics, what the driver is, how do you load the driver, how do you unload the driver, how do you write a very basic driver. Then you should move on to the character driver. I can say this character driver is one of the most popular device driver and 80% of the drivers they fall under this category so you must start learning this particular stuff now what happens is once you have learned this particular driver related stuff and all this might not be sufficient to write a sophisticated driver it's similar to something like you have learned the C programming now C programming alone might not be enough for you to write a sophisticated application. For that you need the various programming constructs. You basically need to know the synchronization mechanisms, the IPCs and all those kind of stuff. So here also just knowing the driver basics alone might not be enough to write the full-fledged full device driver. So for that what you require is the Linux kernel internals and in Linux kernel internals typically you need to learn the things about the kernel synchronization like mutex semaphore and all those kind of stuff the thread related stuff waiting and blocking how do you wait or block a process then you need to know about the timing management and finally which is very important from the embedded developer perspective is the interrupt management so this provides you a roadmap to the Linux driver development now you might be wondering okay fine all these are fine but where do I find the useful resources the important resources which can help me get started so don't worry I have you got covered here as well so let's discuss about the resources which will help you get started with all this stuff so the very first resource which we are going to talk about is on the Linux fundamentals for the Linux fundamentals I have found one very interesting uh, PDF which might be helping you to learn the basics to get you up to speed so that is basically Linux fundamentals by Paul Cobot 
now this particular thing if you will if you look into what does it involves it it starts from the very basics and then it goes about covering the things like command pages working with the directories working with the files working with the file contains linux file free so all those kind of basic stuffs will be covered now if it is your choice if you want to go ahead with a shell related stuff obviously shell scripting is very important but let's say you uh, right now for the linux driver developer you it's okay to skip that particular stuff next thing which we have got is of course the application development what is the resource available for the application development actually there is a very good book available for this application development and it covers the exhaustive hands-on as well and that is called advanced programming in unix environment i would highly recommend this book anyone who wants to learn the application development a fantastic stuff for learning the application development next let's move on to the device drivers now for driver fundamentals i strongly strongly recommend the book linux device drivers now the moment i talk about this book people basically say it's a very old book would it really help so you just need to understand that the fundamentals always remain relevant what will happen is few of the apis might have changed here and there few of the uh, data structures might have changed here and there and to help you with that particular stuff there is one guy who has already reworked these hands-on or reworked these examples to work with the latest linux kernel i will share the link of this particular repository with you guys in the description so that you can look into those examples as well now the next thing which is very important is the linux kernel internals where do you learn about the linux kernel programming or linux kernel internals for that i would highly recommend one book called linux kernel development by robert love it covers the various aspects like a synchronization mechanisms the top halves the bottom halves and with a very nice explanation and the example so i would highly recommend you guys this particular book fine after learning all this stuff what are the next steps so next step is you should be moving on to some advanced concepts in the device drivers so i would recommend platform drivers and the device tree binary because they are being asked in the interviews and uh, interviewers expect you to have a knowledge of this and then you can look into the linux spi drivers linux spy drivers linux usb drivers audio video drivers network drivers file system drivers so though it is good to learn about the usb drivers audio video drivers network drivers file system drivers but for you to get into the embedded linux driver development it is not absolutely necessary i would say like if you are able to learn the things up to the spi driver where you know the framework and you know the how the various things are placed that should be good enough to get into the get you into the embedded linux development and as you move forward you can basically concentrate on these things as well it might seem overwhelming to start with and you might be wondering how much time it will take well it's going to take its own sweet time but i would recommend you to be passionate about this particular thing and perseverance is the key to master any skills so start learning every day and this will help you get there but if you feel like i don't have that much time to spend on these things i want someone to fast track my journey someone to handhold with my stuff so i have you covered over here also i have designed a ultimate system to fast track your journey to embedded linux driver development and this particular module i call it as a 21 days challenge to embedded linux driver development the first thing is the 30 hours of in-depth content available to you with a lifetime access next thing which you have got is something like assignments the hands-on which i have taken it from the projects which i have done for my client for my company which will give you the in-depth insights into the topic further if you have any queries or something you have something like a private community of the like-minded professionals any doubt you can post it over here and the community would be here to help you out not only that after that let's say you want to take your skills to the next level that means hands-on and all you are done with but i want some advanced concepts i want basically some advanced assignments 
to be worked on so that's where you basically have the challenges so you will be provided the challenges on each topic which will help you take your skills to the next level now what if you feel okay doubt solving over the whatsapp is not proving to be enough and i want basically some live meetups for that for that so that's where you basically have the live weekly mentorship calls where you can get your doubts resolved and your assignments and the challenges would be reviewed over here now you might be wondering okay but when i basically go for the job interviews or my resume to get selected they look out for the project so i have you covered over here as well so you are going to design the project from scratch where we are going to design this project you are going to implement this project we are going to discuss on this project and that too we are going to do it the live meetup so to know more about this particular 21 days challenge on the linux device driver refer the description on this video i hope you found this information useful do not forget to like and share this video with others so that others can also get benefited also if you have got a topic in mind and you want me to cover that topic in any of the videos then comment below the embedded linux topic you are struggling with or curious about and i will make a video for the same with that note we have come towards the end of this video and also subscribe to this channel to get the regular updates on the videos which I would be posting. And with that note, I would take a leave. See you in the next video.